So I hear you're an empty nester now. The rumors are true. Emily moved out a few days ago. It's just me and Val now. Fuck. Yeah. You keeping the house? You know, I think I'm gonna sell. Get out of the burbs, maybe get a nice place in the countryside, some acres, just me, Val, maybe a horse. Open land. Fuck! Sounds great. Yeah. Hey, how about you? You're an empty nester now too, huh? Got any plans? I think I'm gonna stick around, you know? Suburban life, it's the life for me. Docility, predictability. I like to know what to expect. Fuck! I totally understand. You know, I appreciate that. Coming from a high flyer like you, it takes a lot of courage to agree with someone on the opposite side of a sentiment. Fuck! You know, that's how the world should work. Even if two people are on opposite sides of an issue, they need to take strides to hear each other out, no matter their preconceived notions. Fuck! I couldn't agree more. You know the saying. We got two ears and one mouth, so we should listen a lot more than we talk. Fuck! I think you might have it wrong there, partner. You know, last time I heard it was, we have three ears and two mouths, we should hear more than we speak. Fuck! You're right, you're right. Thank God you said something, else I would've been spewing nonsense all over town. That's what I'm here for. And that saying's good and all, but I've got another one that's lodged itself so deep into my heart that I probably couldn't get it out with a hand grenade. It goes a little something like, I brushed my teeth and hopped into bed. Where pixies and fairies flew over my head. An old garden gnome jumped on my bedspread and said, If Aunt Fanny had balls, she'd be Uncle Fred! Oh! Wow. Fuck! A gleaming red and white beneath the western sky. Oh, you chat will never die. Live on university. Got that over. Jesus. I think that's